Hey, Victoria. Okay. Hopefully everyone got my, um, my invite. Hi. All right. I'm going to see if this works better. Yeah, let's see if it works while we wait for them to join. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> Victoria, I'm not sure if you're there. Yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to present my screen right now so you okay. can test it out. So let me know. If okay, yeah, that's much better. Okay, yeah. perfect. So I think I feel like I think that it's still Google Meet. So let me see where they are. Um. So I'm wondering if I should, do you think everyone got the link or should I? Uh, I'm just checking now. Okay. They're not responding. <laughs> Okay, I think they've gotten it now. They should be joining. Okay. Hopefully, I don't know. Give them a minute or so. Okay, I see Tashan. All right. Hello. Guess we're just waiting for two more people.
There's Lori. Okay, so we're just waiting for here Cheryl. And here is Cheryl. Perfect. All right. We made it. <laughs> How are you guys? And, okay, so I shared my screen. Victoria says she can see it better. What about? Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> it's like night and day. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It took pretty quick to just make this link. Okay, so I'll just dive right in to, do you, you know how to log into your site already? Um, just by- Okay, so if you can just, if you can just go back as the, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so do you know how to log into your site using the um, bfcn.ca slash wp-login? Um, I sent you. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I usually do. And then it comes up with this. Yeah, so okay. I sent you your username and password. Um, so once you just hit login, you'll get the dashboard that you typically see. So I'll hit login and it will look kind of like this. That's right. And I never know what to use, like, <laughs> I never know what to use. So all I do is to go on to pages. Yeah, so the, the area you're gonna be using the most is pages. Okay. Um, let's say, I, I don't imagine you using any other area frequently because even the MailChimp form um, you'll see this on your MailChimp account as well. So I feel like you'll be in pages 90 plus percent of the time to make changes. Um, the page, there's going to be three different pages that you'll probably frequent. So the home page, which is down here where you see front page Elementor. So this is where your home page is just in case you want to change those numbers, as you said, and um, any different text on the homepage that comes up. Uh, okay, so my question is, when I go to homepage, mm -hmm. okay, there's so many, there's edit, quick edit. So every, edit yeah, so every single page that you're editing is edited with Elementor. So what happens if I don't use that? Then you're going to be, you're, short story, you might break the I'll template. <laughs> you might rearrange the template if you don't use that last one. Okay, then. So that's important. Okay, then. Yeah. I have used the Elementor, but then I didn't know, like, like what the I guess dangers I, are. Yeah, I guess as a reminder, you see all these bold Elementor, Elementor um, alerts. That oh, means, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's like you need to that yeah a reminder okay um, then okay yeah so the page that you're going to be using the most i feel well top three here's the home page yeah um, the second one would be the scholarship directory page down here scholarship directory so that's where you're going to see the january february march all the months and then the next page that you're going to probably use a lot is the additional scholarships. So that's the little drop down with the additional areas. But then each month is labeled. So when you get to like the January month right here, okay, the page that you go into to see the information once you click on January. Um, this is what you see once you click on February. Right, okay. And then anything with a dash. So let me see. So anything with a dash in front, that means it's a sub page. So these, like um, this 3M National Student Fellowship, this is underneath or a sub page to whatever month it corresponds to. So I think this is in March maybe. So okay. you just click edit with Elementor and you're just diving into the pages. So it's that like, exact page. Right, yeah. Okay. So it's like layered. So you have the top right, okay, layer then. is your um, I'll just go into it right now. 
So this is when you click on home page with edit with Elementor, this is what you see. The home page. Okay. Um, and you can literally click on an area and edit it like directly on the sheet. So like we just edit here or you can edit on the sidebar over here if you have any like custom, you know, you want to bold stuff or I tell us. Okay, so to, to edit that, so um, change it, you're, you're going to edit to 50%. So you change okay. 100. So, so you didn't have to click anything on the right. So you didn't have to click an icon. So, you just clicked on that, that the whole box. Um, yeah, so basically there's more than one way to do one thing. There's probably five different ways to do okay, the question, okay. but let's see. I've been too nervous to, to, to edit anything, so. So let's say the easiest way, if there's no formatting that needs to be done, is to just go directly into the area you want to edit, like right onto it, and you can edit it. So wow. like I can okay. do that. Yeah. But if there is some formatting, you would have to click the area, go over to the left hand side, click on content, and then here's the same content over here. Okay, so how would I know if that's if that's the case? If it's if it's what do you call it? If it's um so when I say formatting, that means if you if want the font to look different than how it looks currently then you would use this left sidebar and like add. I can't hear you. Oh, Cut out, so. oh can you hear me now? I can't hear you. Ooh, let's see. Um, can you hear me now? Hi, hi. Oh. Hello. Hi, yeah, yeah you're, you're back. back. You're back? Okay, I don't know what happened. Um, so I was saying the difference between knowing if we should use the um, right side or this left area is yes. the formatting. So, so how if, do you know if it's formatted? So that means if you want the text to look any different than it is right now, then you would use the left side. If you want it to look exactly the same, you would just stick to the right side. So let's say you have click here to learn more and you want it here to look bold you would use the left side and like put some bold. And how did you, how did you, okay. So if you put it back yeah. to how it was, how mm -hmm. do you, how do you get this, the left side up? How do you, oh, um... you just click on it? Whatever area you click, it will populate that side on the left side. So the, that the edit call to action will come up automatically. Um, okay, so I'll do it again. So let's say I click on community advocacy. This call to action changed. So anything related to this area is on the left side. So only the contents for this area is here. The ribbon value, if you wanted to add that is here, which we don't have. An image you can add to the background is here, but we don't have an image, it's just plain white. So everything related to the area you click um, opens up on the left side. But let's say for like commonly, you're not going to be using the left side that much. I feel like you'll be using this whole right side area. Like okay, I so like I just change. Yeah, that's that's what I feel. So I'm going to go back to putting this back. So it's, it's just that anything you want to do that's additional or different in design or format, then you would go to the left bar. But if it's already formatted and already there for you, you just want to make little tweaks and changes. It's better to just use the area here. Okay. And so if I, okay, change the text on the right side. So say I want to make a, a change to the, um, okay, so there, we can change that. So that should be 2021. So I wanna change the date on the bottom. 
So I want to keep it the same format. So you click on it. You so I just. And you add the one. Okay. And that's done. Now, is that done automatically? How do I save that? Um, like, so it's, yeah, it's not done automatically. So if you want to save it, there is a button, the green button on the bottom left, update. Okay. And it will save everything. Okay. Um, do you want to keep it like that, 2021? Yeah. I'm going to hit update. So this, I feel like this is the easier part, um, editing your homepage. Um, okay. I'll show you the next page that you would um, be diving into. It's pretty, this part's pretty easy too, but let's see. Oh, the directory. Okay, so this scholarship directory page, this is the second, like this is the next layer of what you'll be working with, I guess, but um, everything looks fine, but I feel like maybe when the summer comes and you need to open up June, July, August, and all those pages, yeah. um, the way you do that is you click on the coming soon, and it's going to open up the action panel. It's taking pretty long to load. So while it's loading, the button, at the 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 thing at the the um, pen at the right in the right hand corner at the top, what is that for? I, will I have ever have? To, no, go back to the yeah. So if, if you can um, or hover over uh, May say, mm -hmm. and there's a a pen that comes up, edit call to action. Um. So this is basically. Another exact, way to bring it up. Yes, yeah, exact same thing. So okay. Yeah, going back to like there's, you know, multiple ways to do the same thing. It's just you know you can click the button and it will pop the pen and it will pop up that edit call to action area, or okay, you can click on the actual area and it would open up the same area. Okay. Yeah. Well, we won't have to do because all the boxes are there so we don't have to duplicate anything exactly and then there was that blue that whole blue area um well i'll show you when it opens up but you can duplicate and there's different actions um let's see so this blue this area these actions so this means you want to add an entirely new section so this action correlates to anything within that blue um, box. But okay. You, you're not really going to need that in this area, I don't imagine. What you're going to need is to, so when this coming soon opens up, like I'll show you how May looks, you click on the area, you're going to go to content, and then you see the text, so the title text is May 21st, um, you're going to see the link, so this view all button is linking to the May scholarships page, right? So when June opens up, you're gonna have to click on June and then go to content. And then right now it's not going anywhere, but if you open up the June scholarships page and you type in June, it's gonna pop up June scholarships. And then you just, you just save it and then now, oh, and then you have to, change the text coming soon to view all. Okay, but at the moment there's nothing behind June. Exactly, so this is for when June's open. So it's just okay. tweaking these two areas. 
So, so that was a matter of clicking on June, going into content section. Yep. And then updating the link. Yep, the link and the button text. Now, are the links created for every month? Um, I feel like, let's see. So we have June. I feel like I did create every month. So July is here. August is not here. So it feels like everything up to July, probably, but no August, September, October, November, December. Okay. But then that's where the next, I'm gonna show you the next layer, I guess. So after somebody clicks on this, like let's say they click on um, March scholarships. Okay. Then they will end up here in March scholarships. So if even if let's say October, November, December aren't created, you can just take March scholarships, like you go back to the, the list of pages, you go to any month, so even March scholarships, and then you're gonna click on PA duplicate. So this will basically duplicate exactly how March scholarship looks, um, but you just change Okay, so can you go back? Can you go back? Okay, okay. so <laughs> all right, so at the moment, at the moment, March is okay, so up until July is created. Yep, so July's here, but anything after is that what you're July, saying? June, July. So the way I would check, I would just type in the name, press enter, like search. And okay, search. sorry, where are you where are you searching? Where did you search? Um, the top, well, the middle right, there's a search pages section. And I'm I not I seeing did, it. Oh, let me roll up. Do you, do you guys see this page? Um, what do you, what do you see right now? Okay, I can see the page. I just got rid of everyone's picture. Let me, okay then. Okay, so that's under all, this is an update. Bulk action, I'm just wondering. Okay then. Yeah, I just searched, like if you wanna look for a specific page, you can just type okay. it in here and- I see. Yeah. So I was searching if there's any August, I, I don't think there's anything after July. Okay. So in order to, let's say, make, a new monthly page, you go to any month that's already created. So for example, March, we were just looking at, you would click on PA duplicate. So that will duplicate this exact page. Um, but then what you would do is change the title to what you want it to be. So I'll click on it right now, PA duplicate. It's going to refresh the whole screen and it's going to show you right here duplicated pages and it's a draft so it's not live so this okay this is march that's duplicated um the first thing i would do is change the title so i don't get confused by using quick edit so there's quick edit right under i click on that and then the title will change it from um, duplicated March scholarships to August scholarships. Got it. And then I would hit update, but it's still a draft. And what's, um, what's the date? What was the date? Is that anything to do with? So this is just the date that it was created. Just okay. For, you know, back end purposes. You remember? Oh, so okay. I'm gonna 
like update. But then when I go into August scholarships and remember edit with Elementor for anything that you make, um, it's gonna look exactly like March because we all we did was duplicate duplicate March. So let's see when this loads. Okay, so this is the page we just made. It looks exactly like March. So we would just have to go in and remove all things March and add anything August related. So the first, I, I always start from top to bottom so I don't miss anything. So the first step is to just click on the title um, area and instead of March, it should say August. Um, if you have the August scholarship information, you would put the titles into here. Um, let's say August has way more scholarships than March. That's when you would use this duplicate section to create new rows. So you right click on that top action bar. So right here, this little hamburger area, you right click it and then you hit another duplicate. And it's just gonna duplicate the same area. But let's say August had less um, scholarships than March, then we would just delete these areas and maybe it only has one, we'll just keep one box. So if it has more, we duplicate. If it has less, we just delete the boxes as we go. And how do you do, how would you delete it stays the same shape? Yeah, so let's say to delete a whole row, we would click on this X um, right okay. over. Yeah. But just to delete one box, we would click that little um, pencil that you saw, but we would right click it and then hit delete. And it'll delete only that box. Oh, okay. And then we have to. So it was to hit the pencil. Mm -hmm. And then what did you do? Um, right click. I right clicked and then I went down to delete. And then press the delete button. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, everything stays the same, but let's say you would have to click on, oh, it says my entrance down. You'd have to click on the box to end, to um, edit the content. So August scholarships would have a different title. Um, it would have a different link to this scholarship. And, and so, sorry, can I just ask when you, you, um, that box came up automatically to the left? Yes. Once wherever, you clicked on it. Yeah, wherever I click, okay. it, creates, it creates a new action area. Okay. Um, yeah, so that dives into the next layer. So um, after we're in the monthly or yearly view and we see like January to December, then we go into a month and we see that monthly view, um, which is right now we're in a month. Now we got to go into the specific scholarship of that month. So after that's where this link comes in. This link on the left hand side links to a specific scholarship, right? So we got to create that page. Um, I'm going to open up this scholarship, which is um, a scholarship, I think, within March. And this is how the scholarship view page looks. Um, again, if you want to change any information, you would just literally click on the area and you can type directly on this right hand side. Um, but if there's any formatting, oops, sorry, formatting that needs to be done, it will populate on the left hand side where you can like clean up. Um, the bold areas or any hyperlinks that need to be added. Um, these pages were a little more difficult to format than the rest. So I kind of recommend trying to stick to the right side um, so it doesn't get even more difficult, if that makes sense. So, okay, so just to give an example, on um, the box, the uh, uh, not the box you're currently on, the box above. 
Mm -hmm. the, I can see the font is different mm -hmm. on that hyperlink. Yeah, so, so it's, that's where the formatting comes in. And it, it was a little difficult to format this, these pages, these inner pages. Um, but let's say um, a workaround. I would say to take your text, like have your text ready first, um, let's say in a Word document, <clears throat> perfectly formatted, and then copy and paste over, and then make tweaks. Because once you make a mistake on here, it's kind of hard to tweak it on the actual site. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully. So okay, make so your- How would you, on here, mm -hmm. for an example, so okay so the the information has to be put on a google doc or a, is it specifically a word doc or um, a, i know that when i used to do um a certain i can't remember what it is i had to i had to put my the text into wordpad first because mm -hmm. then that would clear all the different parameters if i did it if i copied and pasted it from the internet or whatever it would cause problems so, um, but it's just a Word document is fine. A Google Doc will be fine. Yep, so Word document. Is that what you're saying? That I could copy and paste from a, a Word Doc? Yes, so Word document or a Google document is fine. Um, so I'm gonna show you like, when I click on this area and go down in content, this is how the action area looks. And it's really, if you, like it's really hard to decipher compared to the other action areas. Um, do you see on the left? Oh, right. Yeah, so, okay, so, that... so it would be easier for you to just take this area, like copy it or take your format from the document and directly paste it onto this area instead of trying to use this action area because it's not gonna come out formatted the way okay. you want. Because everything after applications here, that's a. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, so how do we, can we um, like, so as I said, underneath submit your electronic application here, mm -hmm. where it says the hightail.com, the font, oh. So how do we, how, how do we change that so it's the same font as um so there are again multiple ways my the easiest way i would say is to copy and paste it exactly as how you want it from your word document over to the website that's, that's way number one. Way number two is to go into this left side, which I'm doing, and change this font size um, code area, which I don't recommend because if you mess it up or you erase something by accident, you're kind of starting from square one. Um, okay, so there is no, like, so when you're saying about format, I can't just highlight the hyperlink um, that, that the blues and then just change the like if i wanted to change it from Arial to times roman or something like that how do i do that to go from the left panel yeah, yeah so i'm just saying whereabouts this, is, is it the, this panel is met like it's there's a lot of stuff going on so it's easier if you had that hyperlink in a google doc maybe change the font to whichever font you want and then just copy and paste it over. Yeah, but what if it still isn't the same size? That's what I'm saying. Because I want to keep. Well, that's why the... you do the. That's why you do the same size in the Google Doc in whatever other um, platform. Yeah. So whatever, however you have it in that document, and paste it over. That's how it's going to be. So if you have it a different size in the document. It's going to come out a different size on the site. What is, what is, it's what is this? Okay. It's not always going to be like, it's just in this specific page. She said it was okay. difficult to format. So what is the, what is the standard? What is the font and the size that you use to do this? So this says, 
the font is Montserrat and the font size is 16. Um, that's for that. And it's giving me the header font is different from some of the link fonts. It can be Arial for the link. I'm just gonna look down here and double check. So, yep, the, the heading is Montserrat. Yeah, everything's Montserrat. And it's all size 16. 16. Um, I see 15. So it can be fixed, um, consistent. Yeah, so it's like, I, I can't tell you specifically because some it's like bold, like I'm reading this, it's like bold 16, 15, like it mm. changes depending on the formatting. If it's a link, but the overall general format is, well, the font is Montserrat, but some Montserrat is bold, some is regular, some is hyperlinked. So it's just different. <laughs> Did, I, okay. That makes sense, but we All just right, then, so my, Okay. So my question is that when like, so, okay, so I'm doing a new, a new, um, a new uh, scholarship. Mm -hmm. So the scholarship that I'm going to be doing on the first, if you go up, it's okay. The summary, obviously the summary is going to be different because it's for the organization. But if you go down for the overview, it's going to be, uh, it's, you can't copy and paste that because then all the, the fonts are going to be different. Okay. So I'll tell you the, the easiest way to do it is... So just um, the easiest way to do it is to go to pages when you're creating a new mm. actual scholarship area and you're going to take a scholarship like the one I just um, went to and using the duplicate button, it's going to give you a duplicate of that exact page. Mm. So I'll, I'll do an example again. So I'm going to duplicate this 3M National Student Fellowship. Okay. And then it's going to come up. Where is it? I can't, I came up on the second page. So it's right here, duplicated. So you got to look for duplicated. Right, yeah. Um, you can edit the title by using quick edit to the new scholarship title. Okay, the yeah. Main, main thing we're going to do is edit it mm. with Elementor. So let's wait for this to open. Refresh. Okay, so here it is. So this is the duplicate version of what we just created. And so mm -hmm. to answer your your question, like there, as I said, there's so many ways to do one thing, but the easiest way for you to make changes is to stick to the right side. So when you go in here, let's say this is called the, what is this? Um, EFCN 123 Fellowship. And then let's say the summary, you would wanna take away all this extra text and start putting in the new summary. It will keep the same font. But once you start from scratch, you're going to have to create all these 
um, let's say variables yeah, and tech, that's not happening. And you yeah. don't want to do that. Okay. So same thing for here. You want to create um, it's a new availability. It's instead of up to 10, it's up to five. So you're gonna do it individually. That's what I'm saying, yeah. that you wouldn't you wouldn't change the whole in the summary, you can copy and paste. Yeah. Here you have to do each line as yeah. so you have all the you keep all the bold and the font and everything yeah. like that. And then I realized, okay. let's say for some um, areas, like some scholarships, it doesn't even have like a Facebook area. So you just no. like take that whole thing, delete it. Um, some scholarship areas. So how did have... you delete that? Is that just with the oh. key? The, just I the... highlighted it and then I pressed backspace. Okay then, okay. And then delete it. Um, for the checklist area, I noticed like some of them don't have written components. So you highlight it, delete it. But let's say there were additional components that you want to add, you would highlight it um, and you would copy and you would paste it. So you have more, oops, I the wrong base. So I'm going to take this area, I'm going to copy. And I'm going to hit paste to create more um, square areas. But then we're going to have to go in and the formatting and remove <laughs> formatting. Yeah. So formatting, like anything formatted relating, that's when you have to shift over to the left. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know well, that's going to be a bit of um so it's like you it's no different from using like word um, like when you you still have to go to a section to format it in some way yeah well that's a that that is a different to do that okay what if you was to what if you was to i mean i'm just this is a, a what if you were to place it in the middle like so you were to cop paste it after uh, yeah, video would, students yeah that would you know okay so then, lines and there, then you go, just so go that's, in and you know add the text so that's a good work yeah so there you go so that that's okay yeah so um okay then so and then okay so for, with with that then so creating a um uh so you created a new scholarship page mm -hmm. for a new month or whatever and so so you, you duplicate 3m so it's there you made all the the changes with edit with elementor mm -hmm. and so now um so let's say how do you attach that yeah so now that's that August is now the new. So, yeah. So basically, this is the BFCN yeah. one two three. Yeah. Um, once you hit publish, it's gonna create its own page. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on. So yeah. once you've done everything, you hit publish. So you're absolutely sure. Mm -hmm. That means live. Yep, that means it's live. Okay. Open. So you hit publish and then you go back to the actual page. So let's say that was an August scholarship. And right. As we said, that's the the one, two, three. You change the title. And then okay. you would click on more. And then here we are at learn more. And then here's the link that we need to change to go to the new page we created, which we will type in BFCN123, and it would populate once you publish it. But since it's not published, it's not going to populate. Um, okay, hold on a minute. So you go back, you publish, you go to the August scholarships because you want to add that page that you've just published. Mm -hmm. So you go on to, you change the title, you click on learn more and you change that as anyway, because it's got to be live view. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, so once you click on that, the left hand side comes up. Mm -hmm. And then content and then, is where it's like when you click on learn more, this area populates like this, and you have to go to content. Okay, so then, and then the link comes from when it's published, you said the link will come up. So any page that's published, let's say the um, MF, what was that? MFCN scholarship? I forgot what the scholarship was called. Oh, 3M. 3M, 3M. 3M scholarship. So it's here because it's already published, a published page. So as soon as you start typing the name of the scholarship, it will populate. Mm -hmm. So if we published the BFCN123, it would just pop up right here, but we didn't publish it. So once oh, it pops okay. up, once it pops up, you would just click on it and then it would automatically give you the URL to that page and it's going to be linked now. Okay, so when you click on that now, uh -huh. you click on learn. Yep, it's going to open up whatever page you linked to it. Okay. Would you also have to press publish, like that green button publish, to add that link? Or is there like a save? Or... Um, so publish, yeah. So right now, this is in publish mode because right. it's a brand new page. But normally, it would just say um, update. What would it say? Yeah, update. Right, update, yeah. So you can update. Okay. I'm like, okay. hopefully it's soaking in. <laughs> I feel like if you do it, um, it's good. You make a couple pages, you'll kind of get the swing of it. But I really don't expect it to stick all at once. And I did press right. record on this meeting. So I'm like, hopefully everything records good and you can like go over it. And if not, I can record like how, like the easiest way to do something because there's not one way to do, you know, one thing. There's right. many different ways, but this is the duplicating way is easier. You can start from right. scratch, but that that's not easier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I see the <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to sound confident. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I suppose it's I've been really nervous because usually I'm just like um like before with the old website, it was just like, I could just, I had the confidence that if it was wrong, then it's, it, I knew it wouldn't go. <laughs> oh, okay. But now I've been very, I've been very um, cagey um, making a change on anything here. So I suppose it's just a matter of trying, um, just doing a couple of things. Yeah, just trying. And then, um, okay, so. So, oh, and, um, okay, so once we get things, we can just, okay, it's just a matter of trying then. All right. And, um, and then the additional scholarships, when they come live, uh, they, they have a link already, all the additional ones. So it's just a matter of putting them into the month that they're associated with. Yeah, so some, okay. I, I'm not too sure about all. I've been just working and adding as I got information, but there's a lot of these that have their own sub page, um, but I'm not sure until you basically take the name of the scholarship and type it into the page section. Um, I'll jump back over to pages. So this, this is where all your pages are housed. Um, there are 58 pages on the website currently. Um, only 51 of them are published, six of them are drafts. So if I wanted to find a specific page out of the 58 to see if it's made, I would use the right search bar area and I would put in like a word I'm looking for within that within the title of the page oh, right. and hit search and see what comes up. So Canadian Hearing Services Scholarship, this page is created. I was just looking at it right here, Canadian Hearing Services. 
right 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 yeah so right okay now, so yeah. if that's that once that date comes up then we can just add it in because the because it's the link is there already yeah so the link doesn't have to be created on that one yep so the sub page is already created you just open it check if the information's right then right, go right. through the corresponding month but okay in, make sure the link um goes to that page right right okay is there a is there a is there a limit to the number of pages no yeah oh okay then yeah. okay okay yeah okay and it's quickly how how do i know how what's happening with people's logging into the the directory how do i know if people are logging in because you know they have to enter their um email address now yeah so, so do i so that's mainly through your mailchimp so anything that goes through that form you're going to see it on your MailChimp side. And because it's mandatory to go in the form, you're going to yeah. see how many times one person has logged in. You're going to have to do, I would recommend doing monthly cleanups on your MailChimp to like, because it has this little button where you can take away all duplicate emails that have been put into your MailChimp. So sometimes it does it automatically, but you're going to have to press that button to just merge everything um yeah and then there's gonna be so the is that a, when the, that mm -hmm. the, the if someone signs on does that add to my um the email to my email my contacts count yeah so that's why you have to i would recommend you clean up your list every month that's what people oh my gosh yeah do. because i i get charged per content yeah the number of people i have yeah so even oh. if, even if somebody wasn't in your scenario where they had a mandatory form um it's just a good like best practice to clean up the duplicates um what else might happen there just might be people who like emails that bounce a lot it's not a real email you got to clean that up um then there's there's your unopened rate so people who don't open emails for a long period of time some people clean those up so that's like a whole nother oh round. i haven't done that because yeah. at the moment i'm getting charged the amount of emails that i have like and the numbers just growing and growing so i need to clear that up how many emails do you have to, um 20 i think it's 2700 okay 2700 um yeah i see stick to that like so i get i get charged yeah the more i get the more i'm they charge me now yeah um, um, well you're like when you get to like the five ten thousand stage a lot of people leave mailchimp like it's good to start but there's some functionalities in other email clients that are way better than MailChimp. Um, hence the not being able to make the form disappear once a person has already entered their email, like it's mandatory, that's a MailChimp setting. But when I yeah. use ConvertKit or Clavio, like other, other email clients, that's like a standard to just, it automatically knows if that customer has been on that page or not. Okay, but are they for bigger, they're for customers with bigger account, bigger content? So um, I would numbers. say two things. If you have bigger numbers, but when I say bigger, it's like relative, it can be 5,000. That can be big to some people. But when you're looking for better functionality and when you're actually, let's say, making money or progress on your email list and you need those, you know, scheduled flow. Oh, right. Credit, that's when people move from MailChimp to another client. And it's pretty easy. Like, I feel like MailChimp made it easy to just start with them and just- Oh, I see. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. I'm just looking at the, yeah, because we're being charged every month for, okay, so I'm going to have to learn how to do that then to clean that up. Okay. Yeah, it's not, okay. it makes it pretty easy. It's just like literally a couple of buttons. I can send you 
um, like a YouTube link of where to go. Yeah. Oh, to clean up the map, to clean that up. I, yeah, I need to do that. Does it make sense paying for the customer, like for emails and they're not light or not valid or? Yeah. 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 So. Okay then. Okay. okay. Um. Okay yeah. then. Um. Yeah, but this, I guess, this additional scholarship area is, it's pretty. It's kind of the easiest area to work with because it's just one format. Um, if you wanted to, let's say, add another dropdown using the same duplicate method, um, the area on the left, you see these two little um, pages right here? Yeah. That means duplicate. So you just hit that and it would duplicate that area and you just type in. Um, since this list is in alphabetical order, whatever okay, yeah. you need to duplicate, just go to that section um, let's say it was called um, the BFCN one two three again. So you would go okay. here to BFCN, and you want it maybe above the annual. Yeah. You would duplicate national, so it would have this twice, and then add. Okay. It. Yeah. So do it in alphabetical. Okay. Okay. That's for the ones that um, that have come up, but the date's not there or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this area is pretty easy to work with compared to the rest. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hope it's soaking in. Um, and let's say there's anything, like I know it would take me to make a new, um, let's say to make a new scholarship page, um, or tweak any areas that you see. Oh, I'm trying to look. Oh, so to make a new like link or open up June and you have like, let's say 10 new scholarships available in June, um, it would probably take me an hour and a little bit to do. <laughs> and it would take you a week maybe. So in those right. scenarios, that's where I was saying I would do maintenance with you. So it's not so stressful and straining. Right, right. Um, I'm trying to rearrange the way I offer my maintenance because it's like my time based. Like I want to get things done in an efficient way. Right. So, um, yeah, I would be open to doing it on like an hourly basis to start. Like any little changes that come up. But did you know, like we're still in that um, editing phase, and I would still help you guys out for you know the rest of the month. We still have like even the beginning of next month, but it's just, okay. yeah, it's just letting me know um, a little bit ahead of time <laughs> and like, okay. get it done. Cause I feel like, yeah, I feel like it would take me 10% of the time it would take you to do. Right, right. Yeah. 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 I hear you. Okay then. But it is, at least you, you know, the basics, I guess. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I, I mean it's just a matter of of um of doing it. Yeah. Like literally, yeah. Uh that's I think that's that's gonna be that's gonna be getting it done. Okay. Yeah. All right then. Just make it yeah. end. <laughs> I know it's a lot. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have to have another another session, I'm thinking. Okay then. So what um what I'm gonna now the the things at the top the very top the BFC in the house the fifteen five I don't need to worry insights ten WP uh, right at the top what's that that's oh no you don't have to worry about these like these right are, right okay yeah I would say you that's, so many of these areas these are things that are. And then you up. went into Mail you went into Mailchimp. What can I access in Mailchimp there? You know. Um, so basically this first one mm -hmm. is a Mailchimp application with a with all your forms. But then the second mm -hmm. one is looking at the page that I made. So there's two Mailchimp areas. Um let me open it up and you can see. So the last one, so this MailChimp um, area, when I open it up, it just shows you 
this scholarship directory form. So this is an old form that I used. Um, the okay. first form we were picking between. So this one's inactive, but the subscribers okay. still went to your list. Um, the second area, so the one on top, this is the one we ended up choosing and using. Mm -hmm. So this one is connected to your current list with 2,700 subscribers. And then I'm gonna click on- Okay. And it's just gonna show you the information of, okay, who did what and what fields are open. So it's literally just connected to your actual MailChimp account. Okay. And then when we go down here to forms, this is where you're gonna find the form that we made. So this is one of the word, the, the MailChimp forms, but as I said, you, you wouldn't really go in this section un unless you had no, something really no. drastic to change. Okay, okay. Um, a okay, lot of then. these areas, it's like, it's it's one of those one-offs where you set it and then it's already set up. You don't need to do anything else. But the more frequent areas are going to be your pages. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only, it's like when you really, it's, it's a lot of information, but it's, it's a matter of trying it out. It's not good gonna be until yeah they try it out and just um yeah the second time and the third time is gonna be easier yeah than the first time so right right I feel like okay. I would recommend like making a test duplicate page um playing around and editing it but not publishing it just you know putting right right in, okay you can put things in preview mode so let's say for this I just edited it and it's not published if i want to preview it there's that little eyeball button okay to the left and when you click yeah. on it it would open up a new page to show you this is how it would look if it was live oh how it looks yeah right right so okay this is what happens when i click on it so right you can still play around make a right make a bunch of duplicates of different sections and just test and try right okay Okay, then. That's, I guess that's one way to go about it. Okay. All right, then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's great. Yeah. Thank you. So, you, um, okay. If you want, like, let's say you try it and next week or so you want to set up another one of these I would do that and like let's say you tried and you had questions we can oh, like, go okay. through it so yeah okay. I would do that okay then great and then um okay so great so then I have to uh we'll have to have another meeting with regards to the um to the other project um yeah, the, the directory yeah okay 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 yeah, there's there's a lot of options for that. Yeah, so yeah. A date, a time when um when Shanice and Laurie be available. Um like this sooner rather than later. So yeah. I'll be in contact. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. No worries. Yeah, the director <laughs> is so popular. The when you launched it that day or sent your email out, I got it in my like personal WhatsApp group, the link to it. <laughs> like it's oh it's really? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was oh, like, oh wow. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so people are oh, like sharing and catching on and excited. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Pretty useful. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then. How's Jacob doing? Jacob is growing. Amazing. <laughs> is he coming back in September? Um, we don't know. We're just taking it okay. one month at a time. I know, I know, I know, I know. How about Darius? Darius is amazing. They're up in Sudbury oh. now, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so well, he's living there? Yeah. 
that's where wow. they were originally from. And then, okay. Yeah. So now. Oh, can you say, say that I said hi? Yeah, I will. We're Aww. going up. We're going to visit and for Easter. So that's okay the then. Oh, um, my send yeah. my love, please. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. He, girl, he is huge too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But yeah, my sister, she'll they'll come down here and I don't know, maybe we'll visit the school. I okay. I don't know what's gonna happen. I know, I know. It's changed mm. everything, but anyway, as long as everyone's safe, that's that's yeah. the most important thing. Okay. <laughs> everyone's safe. all right then. So um yeah, so uh I'll set up um some dates. Yeah. So if you send me an email with the um, and I apologize for the payment. I didn't like, I'm so sorry. Oh, it no, was like, when it was like overdue, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how embarrassing. So I apologize. <laughs> there was no, I had no intention of being overdue. But um, if you send That's me like, your a link, you mm -hmm. know, your calendar link mm -hmm. so that I can um sort that out with the others, that would be great. Um, yeah, they'll definitely send you a link and I'll send you that YouTube of the MailChimp. Yes, stuff. please, because I need to do that <laughs> to yeah. get that sorted out. Yeah. And then hopefully this recorded. If so, I'll send you a link to what we just did. <laughs> oh, okay. Record, yeah. That'll be, kind of, okay. Yeah. That'll be helpful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, then. All right, everyone. All right. Thank you. Thanks, T. Thanks, Vic. Thanks, Janelle. All right. Right. Have a good evening. All right. Take All right. care. All, All right. right. Bye bye. Bye. How do I do this stuff?